Hey folks, Jason back again. A couple of months ago, I made a video about the AirPods Pro 2 and their hearing aid functionality. They've had hearing aid functionality for a while now, and it was kind of off the books. It was something that was there, but not totally you know, FDA approved or anything. But in their last event, when they talked about iOS 18, Apple announced that they were getting FDA approved hearing aid functionality for the AirPods Pro 2. And I thought since I had been using them as hearing aids before this came out, I would download the new the new software and walk through doing it, getting it all set up, and then give you the benefit of my experience with both. Now, thanks so much for stopping by. Uh, if you find value in this video, hit the like button. And if you wanna come back and see more stuff, hit the subscribe button. That would mean a heck of a lot to me as I try and branch out to do new things on my channel. Now stay tuned to the end of the video because that's where I'll really kind of give you my recommendations and really let you know how I feel. First, let's sort of talk about what this whole thing is. Over-the-counter hearing aids have been something that have existed for a couple of years now. And over-the-counter hearing aids have been a mixed bag. So I went to the audiologist, I took a hearing test there. She looked at my ears. I had an MRI to make sure I didn't have some sort of growth on my nerves. And then she said, well, here's where you are and you could use hearing aids. Hearing aids would be good for you. Hearing aids, if you don't know, can be quite expensive. There are over-the-counter hearing aids that are really cheap, like $99, and I tried a pair of those, and I don't even know what they were trying to do. It it, it didn't sound, it didn't help my hearing in, any more than with them out. But then you can go all the way up to a couple of thousand dollars for over-the-counter hearing aids. Some have support with audiologists, some do not. And that was the first direction I, I decided to go because my insurance doesn't really cover hearing aids. There are a couple of discounts here and there that I can get, but it can get really expensive. And some hearing aids can be as much as like five to $7,000. And because I've trained myself to be a really active listener over time, not good sounding hearing aids would not work well for me. Before, you could either set up the hearing aids with a couple of very basic things in the AirPods Pro, a couple of basic sound tests, or you could go to the audiologist and get an audiogram and take a picture of that, or there are apps online. I, there's an app called Mimi that I use to create a, an audiogram and then upload it to Apple Health, which then I was able to put it into the AirPods. That's how it used to work. Now, it works somewhat differently. When you want to set up your AirPods Pro 2 as a hearing aid, instead of going into the accessibility features and doing it from there, you actually go into your settings and you, you go to right below your name and Apple Care coverage and all that, right before you get into the settings, it'll show you that there's a AirPods Pro here. You tap on that and then it takes you into the AirPods Pro. From there, there's hearing protection and hearing assistance and you can go from there into turning on hearing aid and making adjustments inside of here. When you first get to this screen after going from the first settings page, you'll wanna hit take a hearing test and it'll go through beeps and boops of different volumes at different frequencies to see what you can and can't hear. And it will create basically an audiogram in the same way that you would get from your audiologist or you would get from, say, that Mimi app or something like that. But now it's all baked into the controls of the AirPods Pro, which is great. And once you do that, turn it on, you can go into the adjustments page once you turn on the hearing aids and you can you can do how much amplification you want. You can uh, do balance between left and right ear. My left ear is considerably worse than my right, but I haven't felt the need to like adjust the balance. Darker or brighter tone. Uh, I've got it right in the middle now and makes everything seem very, very crisp. So that's good. Uh, and then ambient noise reduction. I have it on less right now, but one thing that I've noticed using this is that everything around you gets really, not loud, but you, I can hear stuff that I maybe heard before, but didn't necessarily hear as distinctly as I hear it now. So you can go and 
turn up the ambient mode so that some of those environmental sounds will be turned down a little bit, like the sound of a you might know, refrigerator running or a fan or or something like that, or even my wife chewing on the couch. So I had it at less. I think I'm going to put it up here at more, just so some of those incidental sounds are taken down a bit. You can also uh, turn on conversational boost. I don't have that on right now. It might be good if you're in a, in a restaurant or crowd setting and you want to have a conversation with somebody, then you could do that. And then of course you can reset everything. Apple has made it incredibly easy to set this up, which is one of those things which only a company like Apple seems to be able to do. Like there are many things about Apple as a company that are frustrating. And if you're an Apple person, you know what I'm talking about. But sometimes there are those things that they're able to do that just, just, come out of nowhere, you never expected that it would exist, and then it exists, and it improves your life considerably. And that's kind of where I am with using the AirPods Pro as hearing aids. Now, I told you I would give you my, my feelings about how they compare to the AirPods Pro prior to this baked-in feature and how, how they sound now. The AirPods Pro hearing aid feature before this update was good, but it wasn't so, I didn't feel like I needed to, to do it all the time. One thing that bothered me was the occlusion effect. Now, what is the occlusion effect? The best way to describe it is like, if you put your fingers in your ears and then you talk, you can hear yourself talking in your head. And the Sennheisers that I tried had that really bad. The AirPods had it not quite as bad in that first go around, but it was there. And so it just felt unnatural. But over the past couple of days, I've been wearing these and the occlusion effect is almost gone. I, and I, it's just like a natural sound all around me. I, I can hear myself talking a little bit inside of my head, but nowhere near what it was like before. That's improvement number one. Improvement number two is that they really seem to have been able to tune these much more distinctly to the hearing deficits that I have. It's really crisp. As I said, you can hear all kinds of incidental surrounding noise and all that kind of stuff. If you have significant hearing loss and you, and you do this, then you'll be hearing things that you didn't hear before. That much is guaranteed. Now, Apple says that this is not for people who have like profound hearing loss or, or serious hearing deficits. They say it's for the more mild to moderate hearing loss, which I guess I fall into, although my left ear might be getting down to the place where it's not as moderate. But this is perfect for me. So I've worn these last night through the evening, and then this morning since 9 a.m., it's about 12.30 right now, I have, let's see, I have about 25% of the battery left in the AirPods, which means I'll then have to put them back in the case, which is kind of a drag. And maybe these aren't suited for somebody who needs to wear hearing aids all day, every day. But if you're somebody who, what, when you're going to the movies or you're watching TV or you're in a conversation in a crowded place, or you just want to be able to, to, you know, sort of have some heightened hearing for a period of time, maybe th that works well for that. The other thing is if you're wearing AirPods all the time, and you're in a group of people, quite likely people are gonna think that you are wearing headphones and unable to hear them. So that will take some time for people to get over. It's probably something that, that you can get by with. But both of these things seem like small problems when you talk about the actual benefits that this feature now brings to the forefront. AirPods Pro are not cheap. They're $250. I've seen them on sale for even $175 to $200. They've been out for a couple of years now, so they do fluctuate in price, but $250 is the price that you would pay if you went to the Apple store today. It's not the cheapest thing that you could get, therefore it's not going to be a solution for everybody. However, if you already have them, like I do, and you have mild to moderate hearing loss, then all of a sudden, you know, this really solves a problem for me. I think I still want to get full-time hearing aids, but in the meantime, this is perfect. And you know, since I discovered that I had some hearing loss and I started reading up on hearing health and that kind of thing, you know, I learned that 
75% of people have some kind of hearing deficit, and most of those people go untreated, whether they don't go to the audiologist and get their hearing checked, or they just don't have the money or the desire to have hearing aids for whatever reason, they don't improve it. And there's been some research that shows that having an untreated hearing deficit can cause cognitive issues later on in life, dementia, et cetera, et cetera. Apple has put together such a full-featured, incredibly well-executed version of an over-the-counter hearing aid is impressive as hell to me, and it's made my AirPods Pro all that much more useful. They were already my go-to sort of everyday headphones, but now I am going to wear them five or six hours at a time because it's nice to hear things. Thanks so much for being here. Like, subscribe, bell, notify yourself if you want to come back and see more audio and Apple and creator related stuff. I'm always here making another video. Until the next time, I'm out.